All right, guys, um, today we are on another new shoot. Our friend Gabs BRZ, who actually we just met at this cool location here over in Fort Worth, Texas. Now we are from Dallas, so we shoot a lot of stuff. Can you see my face? We shoot a lot of stuff over in Dallas and around Dallas area and uh, Grand Prairie, um, but we don't shoot much over here in Fort Worth other than some truck stuff. Um, so we decided to come over here. We did some location scouting on Google Maps, found some really cool streets, found some really cool locations today that we're gonna use. Um, it's currently about 321. We plan on shooting some daylight stuff, some sunset stuff. Um, and some cool few nighttime stuff over some cool bridges and lit up areas. So uh, today's feature again will be on Gab's FRS BRZ 86, whatever you want to call it. It's a BRZ, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it should be pretty cool. This location that we're starting out with is bringing back some vibes of this building we shot at in Quebec after a bureaucracy one year, I want to say like that. We have really cool quiet roads around here near the train tracks. A very cool shot that we'll use as like a revealing shot coming up over that hill. Super quiet, no cars are coming. Come over that, maybe do 7200 down low in the middle of the road. Should be really cool. Um, and then maybe pull her somewhere over there with all these different structures. If we zoom in here and change our frame up, even just like so many different textures here that we could fill and uh, make for a really cool frame for whatever we want to shoot here. We got the camera car set up, but for now, Trey's grabbing some photos, and I'm going to take the Komodo and throw on the 70 to 200 and start grabbing some detail shots, some B-roll shots, to kind of help open up this video. We've got all of our B-roll here that we need. We just sent Gab over the bridge to get this established shot of her coming over the bridge. Trey's in the middle of the road with the 70 to 200, getting a very like medium uh, 1, 135 shot of her coming over the hill. Uh, rack focusing, getting the cool heat waves coming off the ground. And I'm here at 70 mil, kind of try to get a little panner uh, shot. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yep, I can hear you. I'm about to head back that way. Copy, come on by. All right, we gotta get the shot. <laughs> That for Trey, you want another take or do you like it? Or yeah, we can do another one and I'll like, I'll like uh, start it like out of focus or something. Okay, be like another option. Cool, you want to do the same thing? Awesome, thank you. I'm assuming it's overheating. It's uh, 94 degrees out right now. Sony's don't really like 4K and heat that much. So I'm putting you guys in 1080. The rest of this vlog's gonna have to be in 1080 for the sake of having a vlog. But we have Gab pulled up on this little patio. Patio? It's a little dirt incline that goes into the silo. Um, I've seen cars shoot inside that silo before and it's pretty cool. I just wanna bite on that style too much. So we're gonna put it on the outside. We have some cool lines coming down, swooping over the car um, that are really neat. Um, and once she airs out on the hill, it'll look really cool, make her front look a little bit lower as well. Um, and we can also shoot then from the inside out. So we can grab some more shots there. Uh, it is very hot, uh, but we're gonna do the air out shot here, feature shots here, detail shots here, and then probably move on to our next location. So, I'm gonna take the movie and get over there and get this air out shot, because um, this is gonna look good. We'll probably maybe spray some dirt as it airs out or something, we'll see. Troy, how are you liking it so far? I just fought off two hornets. You fought off two hornets? Yeah. How hornet, hornet, horny they were, were they? My beef. they were mm, yeah. He's my beef till I'm off. Go! 
Okay, we're pretty much good here with our silo location where we got our feature shots and kind of our opening sequence here. Also, finally remember to bring my Super 8. Uh, some of you guys I saw in the comments asking for our next Super 8 cut, so I'm gonna try to get some more footage for you guys. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is try to get a drone shot of her leaving between the two silos over that bridge we started on. So that should be pretty cool. And then we're gonna hop into some rollers. So I gotta get the drone and uh, up in the air and do some, do some droning stuff. It is currently four, nope, it's 526. We've got the arm on, Gab is ready to go down there. We're gonna start doing some rollers. And uh, yeah, it's not really, make, it doesn't make sense to film this too much, but we'll try to if we can, but we gotta make it up in front. if you can, come get, come get close. Come get closer, 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 closer. I'm gonna go wide here for this. That's where the mud flaps come in handy. Trey, try to hug a side here. Right. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, I mean, try to go opposite of us, so that makes sense. Beautiful guys, beautiful. Gabby, yeah, come next to us. Come close, 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 closer. That's good. Great. Trey, go over. Left lane, right left. Left lane. Oh, that's one's coming. Okay, don't. <laughs> Here is we're going to do a uh, triangulation shot, a uh, suction cup shot of her car going under these cool light tunnels that we found. Um, and hopefully the lights are they're vertical across the roof or horizontal across the roof of this tunnel. So hopefully uh, when she goes underneath them, the vehicle reflection that goes over the car. And there's also some breaks in the tunnel itself between overpasses where we saw in the roller shots we just took. Uh, light went over it really cool like as it came through. Um, so maybe we'll get some cool sweeping lights over the top of the car. So here we're just using three suction cups and a little triangulation kit which is some poles and some clamps and that's about it and all we're doing here is looking to get three points of contact to make our camera a little bit sturdier than just one suction cup and that is all we really need to get a nice sturdier shot this way we stabilize it on as many axes as we can and we're using the Sony here just because it's a little bit easier and uh, that's about it That shot worked out well, so we're gonna do one more here of the tire turning. Uh, this time we only really have room for one point of contact, additional point of contact, so we have two, which is more than enough. Okay, so our next shot here, we have the arm of the car. We just got uh, to our next location, which is gonna be this overpass you guys kind of see up there. And you see all those fun looking stairs. I'm gonna climb those with the movie, and uh, I what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to don the high-vis cheat code and go up there and hang a camera over a bridge and hopefully nobody bats an eye or says anything. And Gabby's gonna drive under the bridge. I'm gonna get a shot of her coming down and, and at us and away from us, and Trey's also on, on the ground down there as well. He's gonna get another shot. Um, so this adds to the whole idea of not just the whole video being rollers and a feature location, right? We're getting out of the car, we're doing non-rollers. Uh, this stuff is vital when you're filming stuff, so I'm gonna get up there and see if I can do that. So far, so good. We have about an hour left of sunlight, a little bit less than an hour left of sunlight and we have like one more shot we need of sunlight of the paint. So I think we're making good time. This is that top of that bridge where we're at. I just got here going underneath on that side over there. And maybe another shot on this side. Doesn't look as good, there's no sunlight coming through. So I might just, I need maybe one more shot of her coming this way 
underneath, so for the 180. So she's gonna go down there, turn around, and come back this way. Um, and I'll try to get BTS somehow. I don't really wanna just leave the camera here, though, so that's the sketchy part. This is what the shot looks like. So we haven't seen you guys in a while because we tried to catch our sunset, which just set over those hills over there, our trees. We got a cool city view of Fort Worth in the background of this big, open, empty parking lot that no one has definitely ever been to before. And we got some cool shots with the city in the background that kind of look like this with the clock back there and whatnot. Um, I tried to get, she has, her paint shifts really well and the, there's like a purple spray over the white that is this purple into the paint. We tried to rush here to get it in time to have a little more sunlight be able to see that paint come out um, but I don't think we got it in time maybe it might have come out in some of the other shots or some of the rollers I'm not sure uh, but otherwise we have two feature locations now multiple roller roads we're pretty much good on our feature spots we have like two other spots in mind we think it's currently 8 40 p.m. So we're making good time we gotta get stopped and get some snacks and some water because we are burning it's cooling off now it's 87 so that's good uh, but so far so good BTS is going well Gavin Trayer Trooper is doing great so um, that's okay. Big incline over there, no incline over here, so we're gonna help Gab get out, because there's a couple holes that go forever. <sighs> Don't wanna end up down in there. Oh, you're, you're good. Give me a little bit that way, and come straight, straight back out. Come this way a little bit. Yeah, just straight, straight them both out. Your bump is coming up, so just take it slow. Nice, you're clear, take it straight. Don't cut, don't cut, don't cut, and you're clear the hole. Nice. <laughs> so we've seen videos, uh, Gab doing videos on Instagram where she's kind of dragging the ass end a little bit and dragging her uh, exhaust on the ground, shooting some sparks. That's how I kind of saw her car on Instagram, um, which didn't spark to this kind of shoot. So uh, that's what we're gonna try to do now. We're gonna see if this road is smooth enough over, over here to do that, and if so, uh, you guys will see some of us getting excited of it being cool, so. And then we'll show you, obviously, in the in the footage. Hey, Gab, tell the good people at home what you're doing. You know, when you're on bags, you just gotta send it. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> as long as a flange doesn't catch a lip of concrete, you're good. The sparks didn't work out exactly how we wanted to, but it is all good. Uh, she did throw some sparks, which was cool. Um, so we have uh, we have some footage, nonetheless, of some sparks. Now we're gonna go get some water, and then we have like two more spots we wanna try to hit while it's now dark. Um, but yeah, so far, so good, things are going great. So we have our filming done over the cool bridge that we had. Um, now Gabby is going to do us an audio run. Again, we have one by the exhaust and one under the engine bay where her supercharger is. She's going to go drive around and that'll be it. Um, I have a full video. You guys are always asking how we get audio. I have a full video on how to capture audio properly on the channel. I'll link to that maybe here in a uh, card on the screen or in the video description or an end card. But go check that video out. Uh, it shows you how exactly we get the audio, but just give you briefly right now. Exhaust, engine bay, they're both going to the same bag, recording to two different channels, and I can isolate those channels in post. 
um, using the Mix Pre 3. Um, so yeah, this is our last thing to do of the day. It is 9.59, so we're finishing the shoot somewhat early, which is great. Um, so yeah, last, last little bit of the day. We didn't use all the locations we had planned to use, so we have some more locations for future shoots, which works out. So we're gonna take the movie off, Gabby's gonna go do audio, and then we'll close the lady, we'll close the behind the scenes out um, with a shout out to Gabby at the end. So pretty much, pretty much done with today's shoot. So we just finished up our audio run. Uh, Gabby got some cool audio of us that we can now play under the video. And our shoot day is pretty much done here. So obviously I wanna give a big shout out to Gabby, and a big shout out to Trey for helping. Uh, the motor crane arm, everything worked out really well. We got some really cool shots. Gabby, where can people find out more about you and your car? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at BRZVD. Cool. And just watch the Sweet, awesome. So if you guys want to follow uh, Gabby's Instagram account, we'll put the link here or the, the at here on the screen. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you go check out the full feature of her car. Again, this is just the behind the scenes. If you want to see how good this footage looks, uh, if you want to see all the hard work that we put in today, how it culminates, comes together, definitely check out the full feature. If it's done, I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, but uh, big shout out to Gabby, big shout out to Trey again. Second time Trey helped me out for like two long days in a few days span. We're doing it again in like two days. So uh, big shout out to Trey, big shout out to Gabby. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this feature and or the behind the scenes of this feature. If you like these, let us know in the comments down below. We'll try to do more of them. We'll throw in BTS here and there where we can. I kind of stopped doing BTS because they didn't really do well. Nobody really watched them, to be honest with you guys. So I stopped doing behind the scenes. Um, but if you guys like these and will watch them, I'll make some more of them. And we'll try to give you some behind the scenes of our travels more often in the shoots that we do. But uh, you guys have to watch them or comment to make me know that you want them for me to continue doing them because it's, I don't know, it's not very motivating to do them if nobody watches them with that. It's just being honest. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Get your merch at crispy.store. Please grab a sticker or something. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.